Hi, so now that you are masters and know the two kinds of lit essays and have a working thesis, you're now ready to craft the topic sentence. In this video, we will address what they are and how to create and craft effective topic sentences. So let's go. Topic sentences are generally the first sentence of each of your body paragraphs. They are like mini theses. They will set the topic and outline what you will discuss in that paragraph. So they orient the reader towards your discussion. They directly relate back to your thesis and they should even borrow some of the language from your thesis. And when you combine all of your topic sentences in your essay, they should show a logical progression of your argument and reflect your thesis. So the topic sentence must, and a TS is a topic sentence, so if you see that abbreviation, that's what I'm talking about. The topic sentence must serve as transitions into and between paragraphs. So you'll use them to transition between ideas, in and out of ideas. They will relate back and support your thesis, and they will be the umbrella sentence, again the mini thesis, of the entire body paragraph. But what your topic sentence must not include is any quote or introduction to quotations. That'll come in at least the next sentence, if not the third sentence of the paragraph. So crafting the topic sentence. When you're crafting the topic sentence, because they're like a mini theses, what you want to do is follow the dependent and independent clause structure. Often the dependent clause, that first part of the sentence, will serve as a transition from the free previous paragraph. You can include the topic from the previous paragraph to transition into this new idea that will build your argument. And then the topic sentence will reflect the particular stage of development from a part of the thesis. And this might be easiest to look at a working thesis and then break it down and see the stages um, and how they build with the topic sentences. So let's do that. So I crafted this topping sentence, uh, this thesis, this working thesis. While Sam Lipsight seems to suggest that the narrator in the Dungeon Master experiences the normal adolescent struggles, his association with the group proves his suffering goes much deeper, further suggesting that he is as troubled as the others. Sam Lipsight is the author of the short story. So we have three components here that suggest a developing argument. So the first stage would be that the author seems to suggest the narrator experiences normal adolescent struggles. But then we develop the argument further to show that the narrator's association with the group proves his suffering goes much deeper. And there we might want to look at the experience when he's with the dragons, um, even um, when he and Cherninsky are out by the reservoir on their own and he's relating to Cherninsky. Perhaps even a quote from when he sticks up for the dungeon master and lies to protect the dungeon master to, with the kid Eric that he was playing the school game with. And then our final paragraph where we would address the overall significance in this culminating idea is that he is as troubled, the narrator is as troubled as the others. So we move from like this beginning stage where the narrator seems to be just kind of a normal kid, you know, showing up to school, um, to an after school game, his family life seems kind of normal to moving towards where he's immersed in the game, much deeper than we initially thought. And then finally the stage where he's as troubled as the others, he's kind of lost at the end, he doesn't know where to go. This is not a set fact. You could absolutely argue the opposite with me, so it is an interpretation, but it does have the stages of development. So what we will do is take each of those stages and turn them into a topic sentence. So our first stage would have this topic sentence. 
as Lipsight slowly reveals the narrator as a character, he suggests that the narrator does not suffer the same mental anguish as the Dungeon Master and Cherninsky, but instead is dealing with normal teenage struggles of identity and is using the game as an escape. It has some of the same language as the thesis, so it's consistent, and it's that introductory um, body paragraph. So it's body paragraph number one following the introduction, and it's establishing who this narrator seems to be at the beginning. Our second body paragraph would have this topic sentence. Because of his continued association with the group, however, the narrator's struggles are proven to be much more severe than originally thought as he slips more and more into the grasp of the game. So we have some development, further progression of our idea of who this narrator is, and again, retaining the language that was used in the thesis. And finally, our last topic sentence for body paragraph number three. While the narrator is no longer playing the game with the others, in the end, he is clearly still looking for the same escape that the game offered, revealing that his troubles are as severe as those of the Dungeon Master and Chernensky. So here we have a culminating idea, this overall significance of our argument, and I would expect that we'd look at some of the um, and the passages from the end to look at this. He gets in the car with the dungeon master, even though the dungeon master is talking about suicide. Um, he seems to have no plan for the future. Um, he's still looking for that same escape. So this is our overall idea. Again, the topic sentence addresses what we will talk about in that final paragraph, and it also retains some of the language from the thesis. If you put these three topic sentences together, you see the progression, how the paper will progress and develop the argument, and you see the ideas of the thesis reflected back in it. So now that you understand what topic sentences are and how to craft them, you will look at your own thesis and look at those three stages. How can you break it down to an, at least three stages? You may need more body paragraphs, but let's start with three. So look at that initial beginning stage, the middle stage of your argument, and the final stage. And then craft the thesis state or the topic sentences from those stages. I'm here to guide the process, more than happy to help, but a lot of this will take revising and further developing. So keep looking back at your thesis and crafting the language accordingly. Good luck!